let's say that you're a kind of person that are dealing with depressions. All of a sudden you feel depressed. I'm just gonna use this one. Maybe depressed and anxiety. You get these anxieties coming. Now, what you want to do also is when all of a sudden this anxiety is coming for you and you've been suffering from it, and you also want to look at it to see where is this coming from. You want to kind of trace it. Again, let me make one, one thing clear because uh, I'm not teaching or sharing with you how to repress an emotion or even how to get involved with it, to go to your past, to try to solve this emotion and, and work it. This is not what I teach, okay? And there's many, many different schools of in spirituality and, and psychotherapy that they take you back into your past and you deal with an emotional issue, whatever that is. You know, you've been abused, you've been, um, you, have, you had abusive parents or something has happened to you sexually or blah, 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 whatever the story is. That's not what I teach and that's not what I share. I, I don't work with that. What I'm referring to is that simple observation, a full level of awareness of going back into this place of simply being aware, being aware of something rising inside you and something happened, somebody said something to you, and it insulted a prejudice you have, whatever that is. It insulted your belief system. You're believing in whatever. You're believing in Christ. You're coming from a strong Christian background, and Christ is your savior, and that's the only way to go. Or you're coming from another religious background, um, whether it's Islamic, or not, whatever that is. Um, you've been studying Buddhism and you have a very strong affinity about Buddhism. And if somebody is talking anything bad about it, it really makes you upset. Or um, you believe in women's rights and uh, uh, liberation, or you're very much into preserving the planet, the, um, the forest, or the animals, animal rights, and you're very passionate about it, and somebody says something or disagrees with what you say, or being ignorant to these, your ideas and your belief system, and really triggers you, and it makes you very upset or angry. So, We'll come back to this, is you want to implement and start, begin to discipline yourself. Learning and implementing this to observe this emotion that arises inside you. Even if some, something has been directed to you directly, you know, if, as bad as, you know, racism or a direct insult to, to you as, as who you believe you are. Somebody has insulted you directly and, and they're being assholes or racist or whatever they're being, you know? Whatever is the story, they're insulting you directly, okay? And what you want to do is you want to use this opportunity and break the circle, the cycle that we've been in for thousands of years of what happens is 
the anger comes out. And we have to defend ourselves or we have to react to it by maybe aggression or, or um, some kind of reaction that will come out of us. And that's very natural for all of us, regardless of what kind of background we're coming from. Uh, we all have these trigger points that's been implemented in our psyche and it's our conditioning. It's the conditioning of the mind. But if you learn how to come back to your center of who you are and recognize who you are, and the more you start to see who you are, you, you begin to realize that you really don't have a form, you don't have a nationality, you don't have a religion, you don't have a race, you don't, you're not a man or a woman, you are just a being and you're here and this being of yours is really cannot be touched regardless of what anybody says or do or what they do to your physical body who you are cannot be touched it's beyond that it's beyond being insulted it's beyond being repressed it's beyond any sort of limitation it's beyond all of it and to really stay in this place and to re reconnect and connect with it till you get really established within yourself. And realizing in this getting establishment within yourself to realize that you are really in penetrable, you cannot be touched, you cannot be scratched, you cannot be destroyed, nothing can happen to you, you're beyond that. But to go to this place to recognize that, so it's not a mental process or another belief system because we don't want to go into another belief system, we've done that and that doesn't work is that you have to recognize it within yourself of the truth of who you are. And sometimes maybe it's difficult to recognize the truth of who you are. And sometimes maybe it's easier to recognize who you are not. And I'm just simply making suggestions to you and you take the way you like to take and what works for you and as i recommend you try different ways but this is only pointing out the direction is which direction is going to take you back into freedom because freedom is really what we're looking for we have been slaves for thousands of years and we're still in slavery because we're slaves of our minds. We believe our thoughts and our emotions are real. Therefore, they could be manipulated all the time. And because of that, when we don't get what we want, we suffer. So as long as we suffer, we're slaves because we're suffering from the world of thoughts and emotions. And when the unwanted emotions rise in us, we identify with it and we believe that we're the emotion, whatever that is. So we go up and down and up and down. 